What is going on guys? My first away trip of the season tonight. Bristol City. Come our way. Ashton Gate. It's been what two seasons since we've been up there. Uh, obviously due to lockdowns and things like that. So no away travels. Um, didn't go to Blackburn first game of the season. Didn't go to the Reading game in the Cup. Um, but obviously you guys have seen the two home match day vlogs. So uh, the start of the season for the Swans has not been fantastic. Uh, two defeats and one draw, picking up one point against Sheffield United. But Tuesday night uh, against a very, very strong Stoke team, we pretty much got battered on the pitch. 3-1 um, was the final score there. Piro getting the sort of consolation goal. Good for him to get off the mark, good for the Swans to score. Um, Russell Martin's sort of possession-based football, you can see what he wants to do, you can see it sort of working, um, but it's gonna take time, uh, as you know, it probably will do tonight. So let's, uh, it's supposed to be absolutely heaving and rammed up in Bristol with Swans fans. Uh, it's like, what, five, almost five o'clock now, I'm just about to leave. Uh, a lot later than what I would normally leave. I'd love to have been up there getting amongst the, all the fans in the pubs and in the V-shed especially. Um, but yeah, leaving a little bit later today. Apparently the traffic is manic up there. Um, and just hope we can get up there in time for kickoff. It shouldn't be a problem. We've got about an hour window to play with before kickoff um, that we arrive. So if there are any delays, hopefully nothing too long, nothing longer than an hour. Um, as for Bristol City, four points so far for the start of the season. One win, one draw, one loss. They beat Red in 3-2 Tuesday night, so they've got goals in their team. They've also got a weak, leaky defence. Um, so, we're looking forward to it. Again, going to be another difficult championship fixture as any game is. Tonight's game is on Sky, so hopefully we can put on a bit of a show. Obviously, um, the Sheffield United game was on Sky as well. Wasn't a great advocate for the championship by any means. Sky again put another late game on for the Swans at the start of the season, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully, Russell Martin picks a better team than he picked against Stoke on uh, Tuesday night because the front three should definitely have been changed from the start, in my opinion. We should have had Whitaker, Lowe, and Piro up top rather than Jamal up top on his own. Um, Danda not really involved much in the game, hence the early substitution there from um, Russell Martin. But at least he reacted to what wasn't working on the pitch, which is a positive sign. Uh, and as I say, hopefully tonight, a few changes from that Tuesday night team that faced Stoke. And, you know, a draw would be good at Ashton Gate, a very difficult place to go. Obviously, like I said, they beat Red in one of their local rivals, 3-2 in the week. That was away at the Majeski Stadium. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, three points. Come back down the M4. Nice easy journey home would be fantastic. Get the vlog edited and get it up for you guys first thing in the morning. Um, it's probably gonna be too late by the time I get home tonight to uh, get it uploaded. So keep an eye out for it, obviously first thing in the morning. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, the Swans already have the three points in the bag um, and everyone got up there safe and got home safe. So yeah, let's get into the vlog. Like I say, an hour journey there, hopefully not too much delays. It's sitting about an hour and a half at the moment, but hopefully not too much and we can get up there in time for kickoff and you know try and get involved in the, uh, the pre-match festivities as they are. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it guys, so we'll see you at the ground.
time end. Swans won. Bristol City nil. Fantastic first half. Some of the football has been a bit shaky, especially clearing up from the back. But Hero with the goal, hit the post for the first attempt, come back, keeper was nowhere to be seen, grabbed the second, took the second attempt, put in the back of the net. Atmosphere is fucking bouncing, I probably can tell online but on the videos, but yeah, atmosphere is absolutely bouncing. It's been a good first half, some sloppy passes though, still a lot to improve on, but yeah, we're winning 1-0 against Bristol. They've been pretty quiet, even though they're rowdy fans are at the other end of the pitch, which is disappointing. But yeah, really, really good performance so far. Let's keep it up, getting a long second half.